rookie Chris Reitzma put his National League leading ERA to the test tonight at hitter friendly Coors Field against those Rockies. Reitzma began the day tied with the Dodgers' Kevin Brown for the best earned run average in the National League at a minuscule 1.03. And this would be a test with the Rocks leading the league in hitting with a 301 average. Now, how good is that average? Reds are third in the NL with a 280 team batting average, 21 different points there. Reds trying to win their eighth straight road game, which will be their best since June of 99. And they they get out of the box in a hurry right here. Boone will bang home Dimitri Young and Sean Casey. Four nothing Reds. Boone will end up with the three bagger. Bottom of the first, five two Reds. The Rocks come back. Nephi Perez two on and he rips this one off the wall. Todd Helton will score. Todd Hollinsworth will come around. Perez ends up with a double and the Rocks are within one at five four. Bottom of the fourth, 6-4 Reds, Brent Main. He will single. Perez will score. And it's now 6-5 Reds. More runs. Two batters later. Juan Pierre right here. The double. Main will score. And we are tied at six. More Rockies in the inning. Larry Walker, two on, one out. Hits it down the line. Pierre will score. Todd Walker will score. And the Rocks have the lead now at 8-6. to six. Well, this is where it gets good for the Reds. Eighth inning, 9-7 to seven Rockies, but the bases are loaded, and Ruben Rivera comes off the bench, laces it down the left field line. That would score two, and we're all tied up at nine. Now, the very next batter, Dimitri Young, he doubles his pleasure. Line drive to center field. That's going to go to the wall. That's going to score two more. Larkin and Rivera, they scamper home. The Reds lead 11 and a nine, they would pick up another insurance run, and they would win this one in dramatic fashion. About the only bad news, Chris Reitzma, the, the bad numbers tonight, there you see him as the Reds win their eighth straight on the road. Output lately. Take a look at Alex Ochoa here. Gets a scoring start in the third, driving home Barry Larkin. Larkin celebrating his 37th birthday, Reds up one to nothing. However, Todd Walker ties it up, two-run blast after three innings. Now the catcher's bats have been lively. Jason LaRue singles the center. Pokey comes home, 3-2 lead. Ben Petrick's pop-up shows you just about any fly can carry for a home run. Rockies up 4-3. But former Reds pitcher Ron Vallone walks Ruben Rivera with the bases loaded, forces home Dimitri Young, tied at 4-all. Michael Tucker's RBI double to right in the sixth, puts him up for good. Reds add four in the ninth, 14 hits add up to a 9-4 win. Now here's your box score bonus. Bob Boone ejected in the fifth for arguing a non-balk call. Aaron Boone tossed in the sixth, arguing balls and strikes. Junior pitch hit. The head, bottom of the third, Rockies down 2-0. Todd Walker on Elmer descends. Walker went down and got it, buried it. They have three Todds in that lineup, Hollinsworth, Helton, and Walker, and they can all hit. And here in the fourth, Jason LaRue hits that on Ron Ballone. The base hit. Pokey Reese is going to score. Reds take a 3-2 lead. Bottom of the fourth. Got one on. Nobody out. Again, descends. And that's Ben Petrick. Again, I maintain that's a pretty good pitch that, that they're throwing out. It got into something. I'm sorry. That's a Coors Field homer. You can usually tell when it's a homer off the bat. <laughs> that one didn't look like one. Bases are loaded in the fifth. Kane Davis steps off. Bob Boone, the manager, wants a balk call. Hunter Wendelstedt says, and away you go. Bob Boone tossed out. Then in the sixth, Michael Tucker rips this on Davis. It's going in for a double. Barry Larkin scores. It's a 5-4 game. Tucker was two for six in the game. Later, Davis against Aaron Boone. Hook check swing. And out he goes. Boone didn't like it. Don't toss the equipment, son. Hey, what do you want? Your father's inside. Both Boone, your father's son ejections by Wendelstedt. Here, Dennis Reyes, Tim, putting on a clinic. Well, no lefty wants to face Dennis Reyes, especially when he's throwing from that arm angle. Punches out three straight lefties there. 9-4, Reds get the win. Alex Ochoa, three for four. He's hitting 325. Reds have won nine straight on the road, five straight overall. And I just love, again, Bob Boone, Aaron Boone, both thrown out. I have a father-son moment in the clubhouse, maybe. Right. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Uh, Mike Hampton's going to miss the start for the Rockies tomorrow. They're going to push it back. That neck is still bothering. 
It appears the Reds are waiting for Tuesday to call up Deion Sanders, who's tearing up the minors in Louisville. And as we speculated all along, Sanders can take the roster spot of Ken Griffey Jr. That's because Jr. goes on the 15-day disabled list today. The Reds say Griffey aggravated his partially torn left hamstring yesterday while pinch hitting in Colorado. Jr. is 0 for 12 during his injury plague season, but now he'll be able to rest until at least May 14th. The Reds had won nine in a row on the road and five straight overall. But another high-scoring game at Coors Field produces 21 runs, 32 hits, a three-run inning, two four-run innings, and a six-run sixth. When the smoke clears, the Rockies outgun the Reds. Let's go to Coors Field. Second inning, Sean Casey hit by a pitch. Alex Ochoa doubles, and then here, Aaron Boone unloads a 442 shot to left. Reds take a 3-1 lead, only to see the Rockies tied in the fifth. The Reds chase rookie starter Sean Chacon with four runs in the sixth. Red starter Jim Brower goes five and two-thirds, helps his own cause here with a two-run single. Donnie Sadler then bangs his first National League homer. That makes it a 7-3 ball game. It's a two-run shot, and that's as good as it gets for the Reds. You see, the Rockies counter with six runs in their half to take a 9-7 lead. Brower's wild pitch brings home Ron Gant. Then after a Nephi Perez RBI single, Larry Walker takes reliever Hector Mercado to right field. That's good for a two-run double. Juan Pierre's two-run single keys a four-run eighth off Mark Wallers. The Rockies salvage the final game of that series 14-7. to Now, here is your box score bonus. First baseman Sean Casey bruises his left foot, hit by a pitch, had to leave the ballgame. He is now day-to-day.